Hello everyone, my name is Chloe and today I'm here with a brand new video. Welcome to Brunette Bibliophile, where I post bookish videos and writing content. Today I'm here to talk about my reading plans for the month of December and y'all, I am back with an ambitious TBR. Apparently I own a lot of books centered around holidays, so we're gonna be reading them this month. But before we get into those books, first we're going to talk about the Booktube Chicks Book Club pick for the month of December. The only book club book I have to read this month, and it is One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. This is a young adult mystery thriller that also became a TV show. I have never read anything by this author, and I'm not a big mystery thriller reader. I have read some this year, but I don't know anything about this book, so I'm excited to see if I enjoy it and maybe I can read the whole series if I enjoy this mystery thriller. Our live show is going to be on December 17th at 6 p.m. Eastern on this channel. All the information will be linked in the description below and you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at BooktubeChicks for more up-to-date information regarding all of our live shows. We're doing our live show a little bit earlier this month because of the holidays, so Go ahead and pick up this book and come join us to talk about it on December 17th. And I also just want to quickly talk about the book that I'm going to use for my buzzword challenge this month. This month the buzzword challenge is sound related words, so I'm going to be reading A Thousand Heartbeats by Kira Cass. Honestly this is a book that I have put off for a while. I don't know why because I love Kira Cass's writing, I love the selection series, and I'm so excited to read this one so I don't know why I've put it off for this long. But I've decided that heartbeat is a sound related word and I'm counting it. This is also a thick book, but I'm excited to pick it up. I really hope that I enjoy it. Now let's talk about all these various holiday related books. The first one I'm going to read is actually going to be a reread. I read this every holiday season and it is In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. This is my favorite holiday book. I think this will be my fourth reread of it. I really enjoy reading this one around the holiday times and I'm so excited to pick it back up again. Next I have Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. I've heard a lot of good things about this book and I've heard it is very spicy and I'm really excited to pick it up. It seems to be a pretty short book, just under 250 pages, so I really hope that I enjoy this one. Next I have A Very Merry Bromance by Lissa K. Adams. This is the next book in the Bromance Book Club series that I have kind of been slacking on picking this one up. I think it's been out for just over a year, um, but I've read the previous books in this series. I think this is the last one that's going to be in the series, and then there's going to be like a little companion book, but this is probably the last one following all the members of the Bromance Book Club. I also really love this cover and the blue and the plaid and I'm really excited. In this one we are following Colton who is a country music singer and I think he is the only one out of like the main guy group that does not play sports. Next I have A Holly Jolly Diwali by Sonia Lali and I don't know anything about this book. I actually think I picked it up randomly at the bookstore one day. I had seen it going around just a little bit so I knew enough to know the cover and that's about it. It seems like this book is going to be following a lot of the culture of this main character. Also she finds love, so I'm totally here for it. Next I have Lunar Love by Lauren Kung Jessen. Now I've had this from Book of the Month for a little bit now, but I did see this on a post of holiday books by BIPOC authors. So I think this is centered around the Lunar New Year, but the synopsis does not mention that. Olivia is getting ready to take over her grandmother's matchmaking business, but there is a dating app that is kind of a competitor in the love matchmaking scene. I don't know too much about this book, but I'm excited to pick it up and I really hope that I enjoy it. I still have four more books I'd like to read. Um, the next one is The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello. This is a holiday young adult that I really know nothing about. I believe it's an enemies to lovers. It's also really short so I could probably get through this fairly quickly and I've never read anything by this author before. Next I have With Love from Cold World by Alicia Thompson. This is her next romance following two people that work at an an attraction similar to Snowcat Ridge, which is here in the Tampa area, which is like an indoor like winter park. I went to the book launch for this one back in August and I'm really excited to pick it up. Next, I kind of threw this book on my TBR last minute, but it is Love in Winter Wonderland by Aviola Bello. My friend gave me this arc and then I started seeing the book at the library, so it's come out. I don't know anything about it, but the cover is really pretty. So I thought I would just throw it onto my winter TBR and hope that I get to it. 
And the final book that I have is A Merry Little Meet Cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone, two authors that I really enjoy. And they have what is now a duology as far as I know. It is a small town Christmas romance. But I've heard this one is really spicy and I'm definitely interested to see if I like Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone's writing together. I've read them both separately, but this will be my first time reading a book they've both written together. So that is all I have for my insanely long December TBR. I have no idea if I'm going to get to all these books. I do have a couple of my reading challenges that I need to finish up, but that is everything that I would like to read this month. So that is all I have. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you like what you see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every week, so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! In the darkness I don't feel so cold The answers fall like rain And somehow we're okay A story drifts between shadows and smoke